What's up guys? In this video, I'm breaking down the top three best MP3 players for you. I'll be looking at different types of MP3 players as well. So whether you're looking for something easy to use or just the best of the best, I'll have you covered. If you want to find the perfect MP3 player for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. And the products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned to the very end so you don't miss anything. Number three, the Sony NWE394 Walkman, my choice for the best MP3 player for most people. So the Sony NWE394 is one of the few MP3 players that managed to bring the Walkman into the 21st century successfully with a solid battery, fantastic portability, and snappy physical controls. The Sony Walkman is the ideal device for those who aren't too tech savvy and just want a bare bone gadget for music listening. If modern phones and devices confuse you with all the bells and whistles they have, then the Sony Walkman is your best bet to listen to your favorite music peacefully. The design of the Walkman is pretty straightforward and reminiscent of the old school MP3 players of the early 2000s. Now it is tiny and lightweight as it measures 3.12 by 1.81 by 6.68 inches and weighs less than an ounce. You can put it in any small pocket of your jeans, jacket, or purse and can carry it with you virtually anywhere you want. Physical controls on Sony Walkman are simple but robust. You have a solid D-pad to navigate through your playlist, pause easily, and play any song. Sony's Walkman is nostalgic not just by looks but also when it comes to missing features that are the industry standard today. In fact, the Walkman doesn't have Bluetooth and doesn't support some formats like the MP4 as you can only play music in MP3, a AAC and WMA formats, but that is to be expected in an old school MP3 player like this. In the package, you'll find a pair of earbuds, but they're far from being great. So if you're thinking about getting a Sony Walkman, your best bet would be to buy a good pair of earbuds separately. Sony Walkman's earbuds are quite cheap and they feel plasticky. Storage isn't too bad and at 16 gigabytes, it allows you to have around 4,000 songs, which should be enough for most users. One thing to keep in mind is that there is no slot for a micro SD card either. Either. So you're stuck with the factory 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, if you're looking for extra storage, my number two pick might be up your alley. As for battery life, Sony claims that the Walkman gets about 35 hours of battery life with a full charge. But in reality, the Walkman can last up to 40 hours, even if you use it continuously, which is almost as good as the battery on the iPod Touch. Performance-wise, the sound quality will generally match the quality of the device you connect it to. The included wired earbuds have decent sound quality, but nothing too spectacular. While if you use high-quality earbuds, the sound depth and range rises exponentially, making the Walkman an excellent option for non-tech-savvy audiophiles. Also, the Sony Walkman is relatively inexpensive, as it costs slightly less than the iPod Touch. If you feel like disconnecting from the technology-advanced world we live in today or are nostalgic, the Sony Walkman is a perfect choice. With its ease of use, good sound quality, and superb battery, the Walkman is the right device for most people. Number two, the Onkyo DP-X1A, my choice for the best premium MP3 player. Onkyo's DP-X1A is one of the best MP3 players available on the market. While pretty expensive and significantly pricier than the Sony Walkman, it delivers mind-blowing sound quality and a modern looking design and fantastic versatility. If you love listening to your favorite music in the highest quality possible, most modern phones are unable to do that. So you need a device like the Onkyo to achieve a crisp and high sound quality. Now the first thing you'll notice about the Onkyo is its sleek and modern design which makes it look nothing like an old mp3 player. You may be used to looking at the Sony Walkman but the Onkyo is of a totally different breed when it comes to design. The device is significantly bigger than Sony Walkman and is also 0.5 inches thick. However, the dimensions make it as big as the average smartphone today, meaning it is still easy to carry around. On the Onkyo, you will find a volume wheel and a play pause button, a micro SD slot and two headphone jacks of 3.5 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters. Also, the front of the Onkyo has no buttons as it is a large touchscreen, which is great for those who don't like physical buttons or are used to their smartphone's wide touchscreens. Now, unlike the Sony Walkman, the Onkyo has internal software, specifically an Android 5.1. If you've ever had an Android smartphone, you'll get used to the software and music player functionalities in no time, as they're exactly the same. 
on top of the stocked Google Play Store. Onkyo also provides a section called Useful Apps, in which you can find apps built explicitly for the MP3 player. There are apps like Onkyo Music to download high-res audio, and it offers an extensive catalog of great music to choose from. Now when it comes to sound, Onkyo does not disappoint. The sound quality is unbelievably good. If you're a hardcore audiophile, the Onkyo will give you a sound experience like no modern MP3 will, although the sound quality also depends on the head headphones, or earbuds that you're using. The bass response on the Onkyo is spectacular. The MP3 player can pump out some very low frequencies while sounding smooth and natural. The low mid-range could be tightened up a bit, but overall the mid-range is very well tuned. The high mids are where the Onkyo shines, and by the time you hit the highs, you'll get astounding crispness and sound clarity. The battery life on this thing is surprisingly good, considering the high quality and the big touchscreen. You'll get about 60 hours of playback with a full charge. Overall, the Onkyo DPX1A is one of the best MP3 players ever made, and it will probably leave you in awe if you're ready to spend that extra dollar. The only real issue with this incredible device is the high price point, which can be a deal breaker for some people. But if you're willing to give a little on the sound quality, our top choice offers a price that is not so burdensome for your wallet. Onkyo's DPX1A is a spectacular music device for audiophiles that will leave you amazed with with its stunning sound quality, modern look, and easy to use software. And at number one, the Apple iPod Touch. My choice for the best MP3 player overall. If you'd love to have a device that only plays music without excessive features and also has an iOS system, then you'll love the iPod Touch. But even if you're not an Apple fan, you'll still find the iPod Touch is an incredible device for music listening, as it is arguably the best overall MP3 player. In fact, the iPod is the perfect middle ground between old school MP3 players like the Sony Walkman and other more recent devices. The iPod Touch is not as bare bones as the Sony Walkman, but it also is not as sound advanced as the Onkyo. This difference also shows in price because the iPod is slightly pricier than the Sony Walkman and cost one third of the Onkyo. The iPod Touch has many features, allowing you to watch movies on its 4-inch retina display and capture HDR photos and 1080p videos. Now on top of that, you can also connect the iPod to a Wi-Fi connection to use FaceTime or iMessage to chat with other Apple devices. Although these features might defeat the purpose for those users who want to disconnect from the endless notifications and hassle of regular smartphones, you can still use the iPod just as an MP3 player. But if you're looking for an MP3 player, that can also function as an emergency smartphone, the iPod Touch is the ideal choice. For performance, the iPod runs on iOS 12 and sports an A10 Fusion chip, which is quite powerful when compared to the spec on the Onkyo. Also, the battery life is spectacular for an MP3 player that offers so many features and also has a beautiful retina display on top of that. The battery lasts about 40 hours with a full charge if you mainly listen to music and up to 8 hours if you watch videos or play games. Apple's iPod is also very small and tight. It is not as tiny as the Sony Walkman, but it has a 4.86 by 5.86 by 6.1 inch size, which can easily fit in most pockets and purses. Also, it weighs just short of 3 ounces, making it a light choice, but not anywhere near the lightweight of the Walkman. Although the design is nothing too mind-blowing as it is your typical Apple sleek and modern looking design, the iPod comes in multiple colors, which is great for personalization. The iPod is available in six different colors, which are space gray, gold, silver, pink, blue, and red. Now, in terms of sound quality, the iPod doesn't reach the uh, almost perfect sound of the Onkyo, but with the right headphones, it can deliver a wonderful listening experience. The sound quality gets everything right without overstretching in any direction, which means that the sound balance is actually even without too much weight on the bass and lightly pronounced dynamics. So, in conclusion, the Apple iPod Touch is a fantastic MP3 player that will please the ears of both the casual music listeners and beginner audiophiles with its balanced sound, spectacular battery, and its unique features. Now, if you guys like this video or learned something, please give it a like, and be sure to check out the description for the links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. That's all. Till next time.